What's up YouTube? It's Always Fresh Apparel and today it's going to be Staying Fresh Episode 2. This episode is going to be about how to keep your gear looking fresh. And I got asked a lot. People were like, hey, Always Fresh. Yeah, people actually call me that. <laughs> hey, Always Fresh, how do I keep my my snapbacks clean? How do I wash my shirts? How do I dry my shirts? What do you do? Do you hang dry them? Do you do this? Guess what? The video is here. How to keep your gear looking fresh. And the reason I say gear is because it, it can apply to everything. It can apply to hats. It can apply to tees. It can apply to crew necks. So that is the reason that I say gear. Because it's not just one particular thing. It's all the stuff that you got that we can keep looking fresh. So I'm gonna separate this video into two parts. First part is to keep your snapbacks fresh. Second part is to keep your clothes fresh. Before I get into this video, I wanna make sure you guys continue using my rep code, DOPE33. Uh, I'm getting a lot of points and it's really helping me out on Karma Loop and Plunder. Also, for my videos now, I'm gonna start putting an exclusive link to join Plunder. So you click on that link and if you buy something, uh, if you sign up and then you buy something, I get $10 credit. So it helps me, helps, helps me help you, is what I'm trying to say. So with my snapbacks, I'm just gonna give you a couple uh, little rules that I live by. I think there's four of them. So, rule number one, get yourself a lint roller. This doesn't just apply to hats, it can apply to clothes as well. But sometimes, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it, there's just a lot of little dust. Sometimes you get cat hairs, uh, and you just take it before you wear it, and just go like this, get all that off. Um, these are just a buck, I mean just a dollar, and just get all that stuff off so your colors of your hat show better and they're not covered up by lint and dust and hair. Uh, get on the inside too, all around, just yeah, do that so that your hat looks like it's pretty nice and colored and fresh. Rule number two, get yourself some Febreze. Come on guys, no one wants to wear a stinky ass hat. I'll just use this hat as an example, if you're wearing it a lot, um, and it's outside and you're kind of sweating a little bit, it's going to smell uh, a little bit differently than you would like it to. You could also wash the hat, get one of these at lids, $5, stick your hat in there, put it in the wash, do all that, but that takes a little longer. Um, throw that away. Uh, I would rather just Febreze if it's a quick, simple fix. So just take it, spray the outside, inside especially, brim, all that stuff, and just let it sit on your bed just for like an hour and it and then it'll that's what Febreze does it just gets those scents out uh, and it keeps it smelling really nice so yeah that's rule number two rule number three rule number three is about storing your hats I know you guys uh, saw that I used to put my hats here um, but I realized you know if I'm gonna start collecting more that's not the way to go because then they start collecting dust and they're out in the open um, so what I've done now is I will show you because you guys always a lot of you guys have been asking where my hats are I will show you now all right everybody so if you've watched my room tour you know that this is my bed and um, so kind of where I store my hats as you can see that's some pickups for another video don't look at that um, I just kind of put them in these boxes these are ones that I'm actually gonna sell um, I put them in boxes but the ones that I actually want let's see look at this boxes boxes so right here these are all my uh, Mishka snapbacks. I think I did a video on these already. So that's where they, those are. Um, here's some more hats. I haven't done pickups on these yet, so I can't show them. And then this is where I keep all of them, right here. Let's pull this bad. Bam! See, right here, it's keeping it out of the dust, out of the sunlight, out of all that. And then look, all my hats are in there. Uh, so yeah, you put a lid on it, no dust gets in there, it's protected from like water and everything. Uh, so underneath your bed, you know, nothing can get into it. So that's what I suggest, is getting yourself a bin like this. Um, I got this at Target for like eight bucks. Um, you know, they have those like college things. So just get yourself one of these and you'll be set. Rule number four. Rule number four is not like a rule, it's just some advice. Um, there's a lot of people, and sometimes I'm like this, that um, always have to wear a snapback. Like, I, I mean, I just don't know, I don't feel comfortable when I don't wear a hat. But, do not wear a hat if it's extremely hot outside. I know you want to look good, I know you want to do this, do all that, look fresh, do all that. But really, do not wear a hat if it's going to be 100, 
15 degrees because then you will just sweat up a storm and then you're inside right here the sweatband will just be disgusting and nasty you can go one day without wearing a hat believe me and if you decide that you do want to wear a hat on a really hot day and your sweatband's all dirty um, I'm not going to talk about that. I'm not going to talk about how to clean that because the Iceman 289 and DP The Truth have already done videos on how to clean and restore snapbacks and that's not what this video is about. So if you want to know how to do that, um, please go check out their videos. Uh, you can figure it out that way. Alright, let us get on to clothes now. Alright, I'm going to talk about washing and drying. This is something that you guys all have been asking about. How do I wash my clothes? How do I dry my clothes? Well, it depends. But first of all, one thing you should do whenever you wash clothes. A lot of people ask me about this. You have a nice print design on your shirt like this dopey tee from Dope Couture and you want to save that design and not let it crack or fade. Take the hanger out. Take it inside out, everybody, inside out. Probably doesn't look inside out, but it is. Tags on the outside, then throw it in your hamper, okay? Because what happens is the washing and drying, it's really, it beats up the outside of your shirts, like a lot. Um, so when you flip it on the inside, it, it's beating on the inside of your shirt, which has no designs. Um, so everything's on the outside. So that's how you keep the, the design of your shirt from fading or cracking. I do that with even my crew necks, um, my, uh, not usually jackets, but anything that has like a design that could be worn off. I do that with everything. All right, so now talking about washing and drying, um, there's two types. There's washing if you wanna shrink it, there's washing if you want to keep it the same size, and then there's drying if you wanna shrink it, and drying if you wanna keep it the same size. I'm actually gonna take it downstairs to my washer and dryer to show you kind of a step-by-step -step process. Okay, you guys, we're down in my uh, laundry room, and I'm sorry if there's an echo, I think that there is. Um, so here are my washer and dryer. So washing if you want to shrink. I'll grab it. So if you're washing and you want to shrink your clothes, this is what you do. Power on. Um, as you can see here, it goes water temp, cold, warm, hot, super hot. So I got to find a setting where it allows me to go to hot. Okay, you can either go to hot or super hot. So right now here, look, I'm on hot. So that will make the fibers in your clothes shrink up a bit if you put it on hot, okay? So that's if you wanna shrink. And if you wanna shrink on the dryer, what you gotta do, as you can see here, there's another temperature. Um, so what you wanna do again, oh, it's not letting me, hold on. There, uh, there. You wanna put your temperature on high. So this will make the dryer extremely hot. So then again, it'll shrink the fibers in your shirt. So those two, everything on high, and if you have a dry, uh, a tumble dry, you wanna put that on high as well for this. So if you wanna shrink, put it on high, turn it inside out before you wash and dry. I should probably tell you guys this now. Um, if you're going to shrink, know that your clothes will only shrink vertically um, because a lot of the fibers, if your fibers in your shirt run up and down, which a majority of shirts do. So if your shirts run up and down, that's the way the fibers will shrink. So if you're trying to get, if it's wider and you're trying to get it in, you really can't do anything about that. But if it's long and you wanna make it shorter, that's how you can shrink. It depends a lot, yeah. If you guys look really closely on your fibers, you'll see them running vertically. So if you wanna shrink, you can only go vertically. Now getting on, staying, uh, keeping your clothes the same. First, the thing about cotton is, is if it's like 60% cotton and 40% polyester, some people say, oh, it's not gonna shrink. But the thing is, is yeah, you're right, it won't shrink, but it won't shrink that much. Anything with cotton in it is going to shrink just a little bit uh, if you wash it, no matter what. Of course, the higher cotton is gonna shrink more and the lower cotton is gonna shrink less, but cotton shrinks no matter what. So don't say your shirt isn't going to shrink. It'll just shrink a very minor amount if you wanna keep it the same. So with that being said, what you wanna do is you wanna put it probably on delicate. See, delicate allows you to choose the cold option. So you wanna press that. So this will wash your clothes in very cold water so it doesn't shrink up the fibers at all. And the same over here. You wanna twist it to the delicate right there and then it gives you the option of low. You wanna put the temperature on low for your dryer. Uh, Cause you don't want too much hot air circulating and shrinking your clothes. And usually the time will be less. 
Um, so yeah, those are the things. If you want to shrink, go high. If you want to keep the same, go low. Also, what I forgot to mention when I was down in the washer, the laundry room, um, a lot of people, you can hang dry your clothes, uh, so you don't have to put them in the, in the dryer. That is probably ideal for if you really, really, really don't want to shrink your clothes and you really want to keep it the same, then you can like hang dry or just set it on top of the, the washer or something and just kind of leave it there overnight. But sometimes people need their clothes a little faster than that, so I just like to dry it. It's doesn't, it is not very much of a difference, but I just want to let you know that you could air dry and you can, uh, you can also put it in the dryer. It's really your preference. Rule number three, hang the shit that you care about. So right here, these shirts are ones that I care about. So I'm hanging them up um, right here. This is a shirt that has been hung up. Look at that. There's barely any wrinkling. The only reason that there's a wrinkle is because I've never worn it yet and I've never washed it. This is a shirt that was in my drawer. And as you can see, it is really creased, really, uh, look at that, look at the back. Like that's all bad. So if you care about a shirt, like this is one I don't give a crap about. Like, I can just wear this whenever I want. But if you care about the shirts or sweatshirts or anything that you're going to wear, hang them up. And if you don't have enough storage, this rack right here, I bought at Bed Bath & Beyond for like 30 bucks. So you can purchase this rack uh, and give you some extra storage space. Rule number four, do not wear your nicest stuff when you know it's either going to be hot or you're going to get dirty. I know I said it's the snapbacks thing, but when it's hot, you're gonna sweat. And if you're wearing a white tee, you could get the little sweat mark, and that's just not good. That's just not good. Also, when you're dirty, um, a lot of people, I see a lot of people when it's like rainy outside, they're like all these nice kicks and stuff, these nice shoes, um, and it's like, why would you wear $200 Jordans when you know it's going to, it's like 100% precip precipitation? There's no point, it's going to get dirty. People will understand that you have Jordans when it's sunny out, okay? All right, this next tip is also with shoes. You guys know I don't really know much about shoes, but in order to keep them looking nice, I still have to do it to this one. I like to take just a toothbrush uh, and some water, put some water on that, and then just kind of rub it on some soap, and then just get the soles like right here, uh, and just clean that up. That's how I like to clean up my shoes, especially in the summertime when it won't really rain. Um, so yeah, just kind of keeping them nice and white, uh, making sure they look fresh. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope these tips kind of helped. I know it wasn't really structured or in too much of an order or anything, but I really felt like you guys were asking about this, so I wanted to put this video out, and it worked perfectly with my Staying Fresh series, because staying fresh with your clothes and all that, your shoes, your hat game, all that kind of stuff. Make sure you guys follow me on Twitter and Instagram. They're both gonna be at that's that underscore shit. Uh, I like the Snoop Dogg song, you know, that's that, uh, uh, uh. Okay, yeah, that's, what, that's where I got it from. Some people ask. So thank you guys so much for watching, and remember to stay fresh and keep your gear fresh, okay? Okay.